was a very nice training session today it will be more tactical to approach uh, what we want to do both attacking and defending in the uh, game on sunday and tomorrow and after tomorrow we are already planning to go to the main points that we need to develop if we want to have any chance to win on Sunday. The game that introduced the new system here in Tanzania, video assistant referee VAR, mm -hmm. what are the conditions that you told your players to uh, take and what more can you say on this? No, we started including that yesterday in training. I didn't whistle any time until the uh, move for each action uh, ended because this is what's going to happen with VAR and it's the first time for them they are playing with VAR, they don't know the rules. Yeah. Uh, luckily I played many games with VAR and I know how to handle that. Yeah. So uh, it's true that it's going to be a little bit strange and probably we are going to make mistakes but uh, the first thing I told them yesterday, nobody can stop on Sunday until you listen to the referee's whistle because otherwise maybe uh, what you think it's an offside maybe it's not or opposite or what you think it's a penalty it's not or opposite so we need to keep playing and after uh, there will be this uh, new technology for for them and they will decide i think it's good for the african football for its development that var starts uh, coming up to these games or like in the last confederations cup uh, I think it's an amazing tool if you know how to use it because also can be dangerous but anyway can I can tell you is with the experience I have yeah. with VAR or with no VAR there will be always polemics and yeah. there will be different opinions about what is and what is not a foul, a penalty or, or whatever so uh, we are focused in doing our job and this VAR situation is something that we cannot control, technology and referees are in charge. Coach, can you mention any missing uh, player? No, I cannot. <laughs> but you have uh, Tyron Demons, the goalkeeping coach, who worked for uh, Orlando Pirates. Also, you have Bernard Morrison, who played for Orlando Pirates uh, back in the days. Uh, can you tell me the advantages of, of having them uh, on going this match? Oh, with Tyron, we are talking since we know the draw, because um, he coached some of the players mm. who are playing for them right now. Mm. So individually, he knows them. He's also following uh, more than any of us the South African League. So, of course, it's an advantage in terms of information. But anyway, we did the same job we are always doing. We analyze the same games. I watch many games of them. Uh, also, our analysts, also our fitness coach, assistant coach. We are watching them. We are analyzing them. We have more information, uh, small details that sometimes we cannot control because uh, at least now uh, they are a team uh, which are pretty follow uh, in social media. They are uh, saying many things so you can get information about injured players or their schedule or whatever. That's why I'm so sorry, but I cannot give you uh, the information about the injured players or the players who are going to miss the game because I cannot give advantage to the opponent. After, if you want, I give you privately, but you cannot publish it. Um, and, and then the advantage of facing this kind of, of teams, uh, which are coming from top leagues, uh, is that the information is there and, and we are controlling that uh, in a better way. The disadvantage is that they are a better team than the other ones probably and it's going to be even more tough. Lastly, coach, tell us, uh, the Benjamin Mkapa Stadium, if good wishes, will be a full house. 60,000 of the fans are allowed to enter to support Simba or to support any team that they want. Talk to Simba fans, are they uh, always come to support you? No, any team they want, no, Simba. <laughs> uh, we are playing for Tanzania and uh, there's no option for no Simba fans or no Tanzanian uh, football fans to come and, and not to support. I think uh, 65,000 Lions must be there and must be support us and push us uh, because uh, without them it's going to be even more difficult so we are going to need uh, their support and they are going to be an important part of our possibilities to succeed.